Did you know that paint collections don't actually remove them from your credit report? <laughs> I know, I was shocked as well. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you why that is and how you can make your collections disappear forever. Guys, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel guys if you're new to the channel i'm credit coach q and i created the first software that allows you guys to put your credit repair experience into your own hands guys guys in today's video i'm super super excited because i have a banger guys we're talking about collections guys now this is one of the best topics to really talk about because there's so many misconceptions about collections guys so many people actually pay the collections and actually get no results in terms of data points gathered on their credit report because of the removal guys now paying collections is difficult because it's actually a science behind it right now before we get into that guys please like and subscribe to the channel guys it helps the channel grow and it helps us get into the youtube algorithm and it allows the channel to actually go to a wider audience guys thank you now guys collections is one of the things that you have to be careful with because paying them can actually put you in a deeper hole that the collection normally was in guys now the reason i say that is because when you pay a collection you do a lot of damage to your credit report um if you don't do it correctly um paying collections does not remove the debt from your credit report if you don't if you do not do it correctly now in some cases you can pay the debt and actually get the whole item removed but if you do that you have to put what is called a pay for delete disclosure in place prior to making the payment prior to actually enter into negotiations guys and we're going to talk about negotiations in a minute but the first thing you need to know is what a collection is so for, for those that don't know a collection is an item that you default on in for any type of loan agreement now that could be a credit card that could be um, a repossession, that can be a eviction, that can be any type of lease or loan agreement that you uh, apply for and get approved for and you default on it, right? Now, collections actually get sold 90% of the time to a collection agency. Now, the collection agency have to actually go and do certain regulations that they normally don't do prior to actually pursuing you for the debt, right? And those procedures, guys, are items that you definitely want to know um, before you ever enter a conversation with a collection agency um, rep, right? So first, you want to understand that they cannot contact you during business hours. So if you are at work or anything like that, that's actually illegal and we have file complaints for clients at their attorney generals <clears throat> within a state and actually got the item removed just because the creditor or the collection agency was too aggressive right so understand that they have to actually go about the pursuit a certain type of way if you feel like you are being aggressively attacked or if you feel like they are um, bombarding you as far as the debt is concerned guys please look up the, the regulations for the collection agencies within your state now like I was saying negotiation so if you did want to negotiate with these creditors guys be careful because if you agree to any of the debt being yours over a recorded line that can cook your grits as fa faster than anything in the world because once you do that that basically makes sure that you are claiming the debt in full you are basically saying that everything pertaining to that debt is 100 accurate 100 timely and 100 verifiable and those are the three things that you want to look out for for any type of debt now when you call the collection agency you want 
to um, negotiate. If you are entering a negotiation, if you want to just pay it off and you want to get it to remove, then you can do that. But you want to, like I said, get a pay for delete disclosure. And you do not want to claim a debt. You do not want to say this debt is mine. You do not want to um, basically attach your attach the debt to you. The burden of proof is always on the creditors. And guys, you always wanna operate in that. You never ever want to switch the burden of proof on you. You want to basically always put them in a position to actually prove that the debt is yours, even if you are willing to sell, right? So removing collections is very easy if you know how to do the credit repair process, guys. Now, like I said, I created a software that allows you guys to go in and dispute over 150 different dispute letters where you can actually remove all different types of collections, right? So you can remove repossessions, we can, you can remove late payments. We had a, a lady actually use a software and remove everything from a credit report within the first month, guys. So that means she invested $39 it removed thousands of dollars worth of debt just by using the software guys so guys if you do have any collections that you definitely want to remove definitely look into the program guys we have the 609 method within a software metro 2 we have helper we have so many different methods that you guys can vary um that can be beneficial for you guys for any type of methods of disputing right so guys never ever pay collections if you are not willing to actually put a, a proper method in place prior to doing it guys um, if you do pay it it's not going to be removed from your credit report so a traditional way um, someone will call the creditor claim the debt pay the debt and think that the debt is going to be removed from the credit report. That's not what's gonna happen. You're going to pay the debt. The debt is, statute of limitations is gonna start completely over as soon as you do that, and they're not going to remove it. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna call the creditor and you're gonna say, I had this debt, I paid this debt, I don't even know why it's on my credit report. And they're gonna tell you, by law, once you agree to the debt, we have the right to leave it on your credit report for seven years. So you have to wait for that debt to stay in your credit report for seven years after you pay it. So what's the point of paying it, Coach Q? I don't know, unless you put proper methods in place. And if you're not a, a master negotiator where you can put proper negotiation tactics in place where you're not claiming the debt but still negotiating the debt, then I wouldn't even uh, get on the phone with a rep because these reps are trained to kill. So you do not want to get on, on the phone with one of these reps and play games if you're not um, a, a good um, talker. So, But guys, if you found any of this information helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, it helps with the algorithm and it helps the content go to a wider audience. Guys, till next time, take care of yourself and take care of your credit. Bye.